hi what's up guys welcome back once again to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing us how to draft a princess that yeah okay how to draft a princess that gown because this is a gown as you can see if you are new to my channel you are highly welcome if you've not subscribed yet please do that now as you wouldn't regret doing so because in this channel all i do is detail simplify the detailed videos so you can go ahead and click that notification bell so you'll be updated each time i upload a new video and also give this video a thumbs up if by the end of this tutorial you find it helpful okay without taking much of our time let's get into the video so guys this is the fabric that we are going to be using for the princess dart gown okay as you can see i already have my vertical measurements inserted already and this is a kenu neckline okay if you don't know how to achieve a kenu neckline okay i have a video on how you can properly do that so just check on the description box you'll be sure to find the video there all right so now the next thing i'm going to do now is to insert my bust palm measurement which is four but because you're marking on fabric i'm going to take four and a half so The full length of this gown is that 7 inches, okay, and the 3 inches you are seeing here is my um, allowance, okay, for folding. Okay, so now we have it like that. I'm going to work now on the armhole area. This is the middle of the armhole, four inches. Okay, so I'm going to insert my bust measurement. My bust is um 40. When you divide that into four, that will give you 10 inches. So at the middle point here, I'm going to come in by half inch. And we are going to connect. So can you see that is it? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to come down by one inch okay from this line i'm going to come down by one inch which is this point here and i'm going to connect the line from this uh, point to my bust line this is my bust line so we are going to create a straight line here so now at this line i'm going to come up by one inch so go ahead and mark in one inch and at the bust point line also i'm going to go down by one inch so that is it so still on this line i'm going to take half inch around it half inch and i'm going to connect to this point Okay, so at the waistline, this is our waistline, I'm going to take one one inch for my darts. Okay, let me just take um, 0.75, alright, so let's take 0.75. So, then at our hip line here, I'm going to come up by two inches 
All right. So now we we'll connect. So now, guys, let's do the connection. <laughs> And we are going to connect from the waistline to that bus point where we have the mark. Okay, can you see? And around this area, you are just going to blend this because you are not supposed to leave this as sharp as you are seeing it right now. So you just blend it up okay so did you see just blend it up that way now coming to the armhole area the next thing you are going to do is you know we took half half inch from the armhole area that is minus one minus one inch from our fabric so if we are inserting our normal measurement we are going to insert all these um measurements that we took out so take that as one okay and we are going to be needing one inch to sew this up by the time we cut out this area that is correct right so we now have two inch to replace then i will be using one and a half inches for my allowance so in total we have three inches that is to say 10 inches for my bust measurement plus 3 that will give me um that will give me 13.5 i have it here can you see three and a half inches so now on our waist measurement remember we took 0.75 on the waist so if you add that or oh, that will give you one and a half okay Plus another one and a half inches for our allowance that is three inches then plus one inch for sewing it up so that will give you four and a half right so i'm going to take my waist, waist measurement which is nine inches plus four and half okay so i'll mark it here four and a half now down to our hip area my hip is 44 dividing by 4 that's 11 inches okay so i'm going to add um one inch for joining because the moment i slit this i cut through okay and i will be needing half half inch from both sides to sew it up now so that's one inch plus another 1.5 inch for our um allowance so everything is 2.5 so i'm adding 2.5 here okay so i'm going to see what i have here the total of what i have here is 13.5 so because this is a pencil pencil um down i'm going to minus two inches from 13 making it 11.5 so i'll be inserting 11.5 inches at the um length here yes? gown length okay so now i can go ahead to connect these lines and that is it guys for the front how to cut your princess that gown this is the front part of it then we'll further ahead to the back part so guys still on the armhole area okay in order not to allow this side part to be less when you join your princess that together what you are going to do is that at this lower line here 
I'm going to come up by one inch, okay, and extend this line. I'm just going to extend the line, then you recreate your armhole. Alright, so we form a new armhole line. And this is it. Alright. So this is half half inch on the waistline for uh, that. So now I'm going to connect it to the um, armhole line that I have there. All right. So still at the back with that, okay? If you want, you can use 0.75. You can also use one inch. It doesn't matter. I just want to use half inch for my own. Okay. Now notice what I'm going to do to eliminate zipper watch at the back. So at the waistline here, I'm going to mark half inch. This is just 50 percent. You can go all the way and do 100 percent. That is taking one inch. Okay. But I just took half inch. So now notice what I'm going to do. I'm going to from that line from this half inch line I'm going to um, draw a line until it terminates around the hip line area. Okay, now I'm going to connect this also and terminate it at the neckline. So this is done. So this is done just to eliminate zipper budge. So by the time you are sewing up your zip, you take your one inch for zip. You are going to have something like this. This has been achieved. Let's insert our horizontal measurement. So, notice I'm marking from that new line I created to eliminate the bar board. Okay. So now, my bust is 40. Then I have um, 10 inches here. Then one and a half for allowance. So that will give us um, 11 and a half inches. Then on my waist line, my waist measurement is 9 inches. So now I've taken my waist measurement 9 inches plus our one and a half 
inch allowance i'm taking that that will make it um ten and a half right i'm taking one and a half because i'm not going to cut this through i'm just going to hold it like that and so all right so down to our hip line i'll insert 11 inches plus one and a half that will give us 12 and a half right so now at the hemming line i'm going to minus two inches from what i have for my hip measurement and that will give me ten and a half so now we are going to connect So you just blend this area up while cutting it out. You just try and you know blend blend it like that. Then you cut out. So with this, we are going to cut out the back measurements. On the arm, we'll just try and connect and um, cut out, blend it up. So this is the neckline and the shoulder area. That's the allowance for shoulder joining. So this is how I'm going to cut this. From that point where your line terminates, you are going to cut off this part. Then you slit the remaining parts open. So this is it for the back fabric. If you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and also click on the notification bell. See you on my next one. Bye.